I love waterfalls. There are lots of them in the United States. We are going to visit a magnificent one you've probably never heard of. Hi, I'm Phil Constantine, and on this episode of Travels with Phil, we are going to the Grand Falls of the Little Colorado River, a beautiful spot out in Arizona. Now, I am based in San Diego, and you can see on the map here, so let's fly over to Arizona, across the Salton Sea, across the Colorado River, and up into the area of the Little Colorado, and this is the spot where the Great Falls are located, right there on the center part of this Google Maps. Now on the right hand side you see a very large lava flow and this came over the Kaibab limestone which is a large section of this part of the Navajo Reservation and you can see the Colorado River Canyon, the Little Colorado River Canyon going through there. Now this is an earlier version of the Little Colorado River. This is the track it took and then thousands and thousands of years ago the lava flow came in and blocked off part of the river. So the river found a way to go around the lava flow. And that's why it has this sharp right-hand turn there as you make past the lava. And you can see in this photo the volcano where it came from about eight miles away, Marion Crater and the Sproul. The water that flows into the river most of the time comes from monsoonal rains in the area. And you can see here, this is the river. This is the little Colorado River above the falls. Now, normally the water doesn't get more than a foot or two deep unless it's just really, really heavy rains, but it spreads out. It spreads out quite a distance here, in fact. Now, this is a nice aerial shot where you can see the falls and the way the river spreads out as you get to the falls themselves and then the water coming over the falls. Again, this all depends on the weather. The Grand Falls are sometimes called the Chocolate Falls, and they do sort of look like chocolate milk, don't they? Well, this is because it goes through the Painted Desert. The entire watershed is through that area, and all the minerals through that get into the water and make it over the falls, giving it those unique colors. Now, it's almost the same width as American Falls. It's a little bit higher than Niagara Falls, maybe about 15 feet higher than Niagara Falls. Now, of course, it doesn't have anywhere near the same volume of water because the uh, Niagara River is constant flow. And as you can see here, it varies considerably depending on whether it's snow runoff or if there's monsoonal rain or just, you know, the summertime clouds build up. I like this rock here. Uh, this is uh, from undercutting and it collapsed. And you can see in this old picture here, it reminds me of a Hershey's Kiss, which is good for the Chocolate Falls. And you can see why they call it the Chocolate Falls, because all the water from the runoff gives it that certain brown looking texture. Now here you can see it side by side. Series of cascades. And about 20 years apart here. Same general area in both photos. I'd say that little step right there, little notch where it's coming through is probably about 10 feet, maybe a little bit higher. Making a guess. That was my commentary from the 1995 photo. Can you see the two adults in this picture? Take a look. There they are, in case you couldn't find them. That's how big the upper falls are. And some more flow. Now, this is lighter on the right-hand side, just a trickle. And you can see again the low volume here and it comes and goes in fact if you're going to go visit you really should check the water flow gauges that are on the uh, u.s geological survey websites you get a better idea of what kind of flow you're going to see out there so that way you can plan your trip and go when there's lots of water now getting out there is easy from flagstaff or loop you take loop road or indian route 15 to get there you can use google maps they do a pretty good job and the map here shows you Flagstaff, the Loop Road, then you go north on the first road as you enter the Indian Reservation, the Navajo Reservation, all the way up to the falls. Or if you're coming from Loop, go north on 6910. You can see a picture there of the intersection. And again, Google Maps says a fairly good thing as long as you come in from the south side. I've been coming there since 1995, so let's go back and see some old home movies of my first trip there. Today, September the 15th, and the little Colorado River makes an abrupt right-hand turn. And eventually the river goes off this direction. 
probably in about another 30, 40 miles or so, it joins in with the uh, Colorado River. That's my shadow. That's my shadow. Looking over the falls. So from high atop the Navajo Reservation, this has been the Grand Falls of the Little Colorado River. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please feel free to make comments below as long as the language is family friendly. And if you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button below. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the circle with my picture in it in the lower right hand corner of the video. The arrow is pointing at it now. And once you have subscribed, you can be notified of when I have a new video posted by clicking on the bell icon in the description field below the video. Thanks again for watching.